we were talking about it before. You've actually experimented with getting carbon dioxide and putting it in your bathtub and laying in there? Uh, um, a big plastic bag will do. Really? Uh, but if you don't have a lot of breeze in your bathroom, uh, then you can plug the drains with tape. Right. And uh, fill it up and carefully get in. You can test the level of carbon dioxide by having a, a candle uh, uh, that you, or, or just striking a match, uh, so you can see exactly where the surface of the carbon dioxide is. Isn't it? So you could actually take a candle, move it down the tub, and as soon as the ta- candle goes out, you know that's where the carbon dioxide level is. Uh, yeah, and. Uh, for uh, more than 100 years, uh, people have described uh, the effect. For example, uh, one source said sitting in a tub of CO2 for uh, an hour or so is like a day at the beach for feeling rejuvenated. Is that right? And have you done this before? Oh, yeah. Do you do, you do it often? or? Uh, um, it's not very convenient to sit around uh, in a plastic bag. Uh, but uh, sometimes we watch TV uh, while sitting in these giant bags. So you could actually, you've made a bag, so you put the carbon dioxide in a bag? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, you, you empty a big bag and then put the CO2, <laughs> bag, put, a, put a hose in the bag and fill it up so there's no air there, all pure CO2, and then carefully get in the bag without tipping the top and spilling the gas. So why doesn't the CO2 must then be heavy? And so that's why it stays where you put it. Yeah, yeah much heavier than air. Much heavier than air. Have you done it in the bathtub as well? Mm-hmm. And it's just more user-friendly to do with a bag rather than a bathtub. So, uh, uh, yeah, because if there's a breeze, uh, oh. you lose the CO2 fairly quickly. Any kind of a breeze, wow. So it's not that heavy. I mean... Heavy enough uh, to withstand a breeze, right? Uh, uh, yeah. The, the, uh, like if there's a crack in the window, uh, a little movement of air will cause turbulence and uh, takes about 10 minutes to empty a tub. Whoa. So you really have to be careful. And where do you get this CO2? Where do you get it? Uh, a welder shop. Hmm. Uh, a, a tank that is possible to move uh, very heavy, but... Uh, a tank about two feet tall holds 10 kilograms of it, uh, and you can get oh, several dozen bags full out of that. Wow. So if you just get a two-foot tall CO2, you can get, a, you can get uh, a, you, quite a few bags full in that. Uh, uh, yeah. It, it's something you can, if you're fairly strong, you can carry it from your car to, to the house. Sure. But, uh, yeah. How much does it weigh about? Any idea? Uh, the metal tank uh, probably weighs oh, 30 pounds in itself, and so uh, with 10 kilos of uh, gas. 50 in it, pounds, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, and the, the alternative would be the huge things that you need a, a hand cart to Yeah, to you, move. Could, you could get a dolly and get it from your car. To your, <laughs> wow, that's pretty interesting. So this bag, where do you get that? Is that it, like a, just a big trash bag? That'll do. Uh, uh, sometimes you can find one that reaches all the way to your neck. Huh. But ar- armpits is good enough. Oh, so if you just get as high as you can. Do mm-hmm. do the, 